Hey everybody, it's Pete here from Northern Works. Over the last few weeks I've been building this stool for Audrey out of our old Christmas tree stump and these beautiful ash legs. But before I can get it all fit and finished, she's asked for one big change. These legs need to be black. So in this episode, I'm experimenting with using India ink to turn wood black without lowering the quality. Now obviously there's loads of different ways that you can turn wood black. Obviously you could use paint, I've tried that before with plywood, it works really, really well. You can also use a chemical reaction with certain types of wood. I'm using India ink because with ash, you've got a really open grain, so the ink goes into the grain and stains that really nicely. And then I can come back with the same finish as the rest of the wood and it should come up to the same nice kind of satin finish that I'm after. Now, I have seen people try this technique before on ash, but I didn't really want the first time I did it to be on the actual legs. So I've got this little off cut and we're gonna see if we can make this look as good as I wanna get it. first coat dry and you can see just how open the grain is on this ash and the first bit of uh, ink just hasn't gone in at all with the brush so the second one I think I'm going to use the rag and really try and work the ink into the grain and see if that makes a difference Well, that seemed to have made a bit of a difference. It's definitely going to need a couple more coats, but the big question is, why the hell was I not wearing gloves? Gloves for the next few coats. Okay, that's been drying for a couple of days. I really like what the ink has done to the face of the wood, but no matter how many coats I put on, it just isn't going down into the grain itself. So I spoke to Dr. Google and Dr. Google said, ink can't get down into the grain. The surface tension of ink means that it'll only ever stay on the top and it can never get down into the pores. And for that, I'm gonna need a stain. My only real experience with wood stain was on the desk that I built a few months ago and I used this, which is actually more of an exterior wood stain. It was very good at making coverage, but it definitely felt more like paint than it did stain. And that's not what I want for this project. So instead, I've got some of this, which is a water-based black stain, which combined with the ink should get nicely into the pores and should produce a pretty beautiful dark black finish all the way through, while still letting me see the grain through the final top coat finish. And I've remembered the gloves this time. Okay, this test piece has now had two coats of the ink and two coats of the dye. And I have to say, the depth and richness of that black is really, really nice. It's not only inside the grain, but on the face as well, really good colouring. For comparison, I did another piece of the same ash, only using the dye, because I thought, well, if I can save myself two coats of ink, then why not? And I have to say, it might just be my eye, but the black is just not as deep and just not as rich. So, what I've decided to do for the legs themselves is to do two coats of ink and then two coats of dye and I think that'll give me the, the real kind of depth of black that I'm after. But before I do that, I'm gonna give my test piece a coat of the final top layer finish, which is this Osmo hard wax oil, just to make sure that nothing goes weird when the final top finish goes on. This has come out exactly how I hoped it would. So, shall we begin? Well, 
Well, I've left these legs overnight to dry and I have to say, I am really, really happy with how they've come out. Before I put the hard wax oil on, I'm gonna get these assembled with the stool top and then I'll finish everything all together. Well, I'm really impressed with how these have turned out. The black is so much richer than I think I expected it to be. And the grain of the ash just still sings through. It's absolutely beautiful. It's definitely a technique that I'm gonna use on future projects. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching along with this experiment. Give it a like and help some other folks find it if you did. And I think you might enjoy some of these projects too. See you next time.